Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Corrigato. Welcome to today. It is an amazing day. The wind is blowing. You can see my hair, uh, my hair blowing everywhere. The last three weeks I've been wearing a hat because my hair was extra short and it's actually grown out in over three weeks. And so now I can stop wearing my hat, but I do love wearing hats especially in the winter time. Love my hats. I think I've got about close to 25 hats, something like that. And I'm going to be styling my hats this winter. So y'all get ready. Hey, Andrea, God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Hey, Trisha, thank you for joining in. And so today is about being a thousand percent you, a thousand percent you. Oh my goodness. The enemy always wants to attack who you are in Christ and who God designed you to be. Love you, Sue Gailey. Who God designed you to be. And I'm telling you, saints, you have to know who you are. You have to know who you are in Christ. And you have to know your personality. And part of that personality is your personal reality. Okay? What makes your personality is your personal reality. And I get into that a lot in mindfulness amount of Christ, but I'm going to get into some of that even today as we look at being a thousand percent you. Okay. And so one of the things that I mentioned in mindfulness amount of Christ is about Archibald, John Archibald Wheeler, a physicist who turned the world of science upside down when he said it comes from bits and it is reality and bits is information now just breathe inhale exhale think about that let me say that again because it's so powerful and it's worth repeating john archibald wheeler physicist said it comes from bits so it is our reality and bits is information. So watch this because it is beyond potent. And all of you people that are enjoying my midlife crisis, enjoy it. Okay, Enjoy your midlife crisis. Enjoy my midlife crisis as I give you wisdom from my midlife crisis. This is going to be a fun, a fun and learning midlife crisis. Go on a journey with me and my midlife crisis because it is going to super bless you because oh my goodness god has been giving me so much wisdom in this midlife crisis so remember i told you excuse me while i swallow <laughs> remember when i told you yesterday that holy spirit told me that this week the feast of tabernacles was the week of answers and you know sometimes those answers you get from god are just like <gasps> I can breathe. And what you're really doing is you're receiving the call of who you are authentically meant to be. Hey, Susan Swicky, I'm so glad you're joining this. I'm telling you, I don't know how long this midlife crisis video is going to go on, but since God has given me knowledge of it, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. And as you're going through your midlife crisis, and for those who haven't had a midlife crisis, watch this midlife crisis and you can enjoy yours when you get to it and know what it means. And so when God tapped me on the shoulder the other day and he gave me that nudge, Robin, you're going through a midlife crisis. You don't need deliverance. It's not your hormones. And it is for change. Change is in the air. Fall is in the air. And so the things that need to fall off of us, like the leaves that with the new time, they're falling off of the trees, you know, that is so analogous to what is going on in the midst of a midlife crisis. It is like being a tree whose leaves need to change. Okay. Yes, Stacy, whose leaves need to change change ding 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 <laughs> you need to change <laughs> okay and so 
that's one of the things that you realize, excuse me, while I'm spitting on myself when I preach and preach, that's why people don't sit on the front row. Every time I preach somewhere, I warn people, if you're sitting on the front row, you are in spitting range. So you might want to consider getting on another seat. And so I'm so preaching myself happy that I am, at least you have the screen to protect you from being on the front row spitting range, okay? And so God showed me that part of that midlife crisis is to bring you to the authentic you, to break off what others have put upon your members, what the enemy has put upon your members. And when I say members, I'm talking about neck down because neck down in the receptor, the G protein coupled receptor, which is spons responsible for your perception and your behavior are memories that are stored. And one of the things that God spoke to me today, and those memories unpack when neuropeptides or frequencies hit it. So when someone's talking to you, it can trigger you as the frequency of that message hits the G protein coupled receptor and it unpacks all these memories in your body and you're just, oh, tasered is what I call it. I feel, that's the, that's the word I've used for years. I feel tasered. And it's because all those memories are unpacking in my person and it is just, you know, consuming me and it's leaves that need to fall. And so let's look at leaves as a minute for thoughts and opinions that you have of yourself or that you've taken on of others. And so we see this tree right here behind me and you see its leaves. Some are turning and on other ones, some are turning more. And so the leaves fall and the tree puts out what in the springtime, new leaves. And we're perceiving that which springs forth. And so a midlife crisis is an opportunity. And that's what Holy Spirit was telling me to tell y'all today. You've heard the saying that crisis is actually a time of opportunity in order to grab a hold of change. Otherwise, you might not have been willing to change, open to change until the crisis. And so those of y'all who might not be in a midlife crisis, but you might be in a crisis, this applies to you. So those leaves, what, fall off the tree and the tree looks what, bare, <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, that is how I feel. You know, just, ooh, here I am, all vulnerable Robin with no leaves on me, just being real, real, <laughs> and so, if you can't appreciate or understand my crisis, you might become a critic. Woo! Oh my goodness. The critics are those who cannot understand your crisis. They don't understand your change. And th it might be like they are the trees that have the leaves on and they're going, what is that tree over there have no leaves on? Do they know they need to put some leaves on and look normal? Oh my goodness. They look crazy. They don't have any leaves on. That is so what it is like. Oh my goodness. And it is beyond amazing what God shows you when you are in crisis mode because that is when you're willing to change. So watch this. I'm walking around all over the place. Let me, whew, I am walking fast. I'm so excited about this message. I'm going to have to watch this message later and so this is what god showed me he said robin today because this is the week of answers he said feast of tabernacles is the week of answers where you know the god tap oh let me tell you this let me tell you this well guess what he told me yesterday and i posted about it today god said robin just because people say if you if you say I declare that that is not God who made them God who said so <laughs> okay and oh my goodness even though I know that it just penetrated my inner man it became a leaf woo that sprouted 
on my tree that one little leaf right now while all the other leaves have gone okay and this is opinions about me that God is what pruning John 15 2 to bear what greater fruit and so the greater fruit are new leaves okay that's the analogy that I'm gonna do today for the tree and so the answers are like a new leaf and you can focus remember wherever your attention is controls your intent and so just like yesterday when God tell or the day before when God said Robin you're just in a midlife crisis I had one little leaf that sprouted on my tree and I was like glory to God Woo! I'm in a midlife crisis but think about this life mid life see that's where you're not living full life do you get this because that is what my new book is all about eternal life the forbidden fruit the spiritual disease is all about eternal life and what's so crazy and I posted about this the other day on Netflix coming out next week is the school of good and evil and an apple that's bitten and on my new book is an apple <laughs> And it is about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the cure to it is eternal life. That's the cure to that tree. And so what a midlife crisis is, is showing you how you're not fully living life. Midlife crisis equals full life. And so it is the leaf that pops up on the tree and you give your attention. No longer am I gonna have a midlife crisis. I'm gonna have full life. I'm gonna live fully who God's called you to be. And so the leaf that came forth today, the tap that came on the shoulder really yesterday into today, was Robin just because somebody says something is so, doesn't make it true. And not only that, they can't handle your personality. And so they're trying to shut you up because they are a critic. They don't have full life. They're like the foolish virgins that have the oil halfway full. Ding, 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 ding. And God said, be bold and start on Facebook saying, I declare, I declare, I declare. Every time you say, I declare, declare a thing and it shall be established. Every time you say, I declare, you're saying, I'm praying what is in heaven, it's gonna be on earth. I'm praying it is written and it's gonna show up in your life. Just because someone said so, doesn't make it true. And so when you look at a time of crisis, what is happening, is to find out what is true for you, for your personal reality, what you're gonna allow and what you're gonna shut out of your world, what you're going to call, allow to fall off your tree. So this is where we're gonna end today and we're gonna do some more tomorrow, okay? We're gonna see what new leaf comes out on the tree in this midlife crisis to enter into a full life opportunity, a full life eternity promise promises of God which are yes name in and so today consider what is it because hypnosis is the power suggestion I write about that in mindfulness mind of Christ a stronghold is hypnosis is you're hypnotized and you will fight tooth and toenail and defend your hypnotism if you don't wake up and so God allows a crisis for you to let the leaf fall and don't hold on to it and don't wear it like an ornament, but walk in the reality of eternity. Walk in the reality of the kingdom of heaven. Okay, saints? So think about it. What has you hypnotized about yourself, about God, about others? that you need to let fall and go through your crisis to get into full life. In Jesus' name, I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you.